Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to part two of the Afton family backstory. If you haven't seen the first part of this, I'm going to leave it in the description and up in the eye. I do recommend that you go and check it out first, otherwise you might be confused and we don't want that, do we? The original story was made by Shadows Glitch. There will also be a link in the description for their channel. Do make sure to go and check them out because they post a load of Five Nights at Freddy's gacha videos and honestly, they're amazing. So apparently this is an alternate universe created by Shadows shadow glitch so some things are different to the actual Five Nights at Freddy's lore but it seems like most of the characters and things are pretty similar. Either way I still think it's going to teach me a lot about the Afton family because bear in mind I don't know anything only what I've seen in the first part of this gacha. And now let's go and finish this because I'm really excited to find out more about them. A few months later okay we have William and I don't know what he's just been up to but it doesn't look good, does it? There's supposed to be a party tomorrow at Fazbear's. Those kids are my next victims. Victims? What? He's crazy. Officially crazy. Dad kills? Michael, I know you're there. Stop. If you tell anyone what you just saw, I'm not afraid to put you on the list. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Wonderful son. That's the first time he's called me son. But the fact that he takes lives, that's not right. Off to bed now. I feel incredibly sorry for Michael. His dad is just a little bit crazy. Yeah, just a little bit or maybe a lot. Oh, okay, it's time for the party. Everybody's arrived. Oh, wow, look at this animatronic costume. It looks like it actually has a person inside of it. That's pretty cool. I cannot explain to you what I am witnessing right now. This one doesn't fit. Is that daddy? Oh my goodness, guys. I completely forgot about Chris being inside of the costume. Oh my, what is he doing? Chris, you might wanna cover your eyes. Wait a second, another child is joining him. She's also stuck inside of the animatronic now. Hello, who are you? My name's Chris. Cassidy. Oh, his wings have gone all dull and hers have gone yellow. But what does it mean? He's also turning purple? Chris? He's disappeared. I am so confused. Where is Chris going? Oh my gosh, what is that? Like a purple outline? Guys, I am so confused. What is happening? Poor Chris. But is he free now? His wings have turned purple. And who is that? Is Chris inside of them? And who is that? What is going on? Oh, look, they've locked eyes. Isn't this a sweet moment? I don't actually know if it is. It's kind of creepy. We're back with William and Michael and did his eyes just turn white? Sir, I do think you should be seeking medical assistance right now. That is not normal. Dad, you're changing so much every day from what you're doing. I, I saw what you did today. They're just innocent children that you stuff in the suits, basically trapping their souls. How did you know that I'm trapping their souls? Did you go through my work? I thought I left my homework in there. Can you please reconsider? what you're doing dad seems like michael has a good head between his shoulders he knows this is wrong but can he convince his dad to stop i sure hope so maybe freeing the souls it's a lot harder than that michael and plus why would i do that put a change in what you do please it's not too late to change i've done too much bad stuff in my time including killing henry's daughter he really just went and admitted that no shame no shame at all Michael is absolutely shook and I don't blame him. I think my reaction would be the same if I found out my dad was a crazy killer stuffing children into animatronic suits. You killed his daughter? We're getting too off topic. As you were saying about the souls. Fine, I'll do it. That is, if I can even get close to them and don't think I want to do this. I'm only doing it because you convinced me. Wow, William is actually seeing some sense right now. And he's listening to Michael. He's going to free the souls of the children. But that still doesn't make up for, you know, putting them in the suits in the first place. This isn't me trying to change. I'll always be a bad person. And I think I'm probably going to get older doing this until I'm in jail. Okay, um, William is not seeing sense. He's officially crazy. 
He's lost it. And I'm worried for him. I do not know what is going on. Shadow Freddy? There's more of them? Did William build this? I'm meeting new characters left, right, and center. I think I might be able to help you with your problem of getting the animatronics, Father. You're probably going to end up getting killed, but you deserve it a bit. A few days later. Oh, look, all the animatronics are up on the stage looking good. And then Shadow Freddy has made an appearance. What is he gonna do? Oh, Fazbear has activated. Follow me. What is going on? What is his plan? Where did he go? Why did he come over here? Well, it makes my job easier. What is William doing? Oh my goodness. You just attacked him. So William did that. Yes, he did. He really did that. <laughs> Every day, Chris would lead a different animatronic into that room for William to destroy. Although William never knew Chris was helping him and didn't even knew that he possessed an animatronic. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I understand now. Chris was inside of Fredbear, but then a new child entered Fredbear, so Chris left. And now he's Shadow Freddy. Think I'm getting that right? Please let me know if I'm wrong. But I think that's it. Why is this so confusing? There's so many characters. Once every animatronic in Fazbear's got destroyed, including Cassidy, the souls were free, but they saw it as a chance to get revenge. Well, of course they did. They were murdered. I can't say I blame them. And, okay, what's the and? All right, William looks a bit scared, doesn't he? Oh, that's why. It's all of the children. Stay away from me. What is he doing? He's getting inside of the suit. And Michael, he's just watching. Dad? What is going on? What is happening to him? Dad! Oh, Chris has made an appearance. I should probably stop calling him Chris now, shouldn't I? Stop! I'm sorry, Michael. Get away from me, you monsters! Well, this is a very nice image, isn't it? No, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Well, all the kids are just leaving. They've gone out the ceiling. I think they're free, maybe? Around a year later. Listen, young man, I know you live alone because the rest of your family have died but it's been almost a year now and you haven't paid any bills in the house. How is he meant to pay the bills? He's a literal child. The police should know better. I'm sorry, but if you don't find a job in the next month, I'll have no choice but to remove you from this house. Oh no, poor Michael. This is not good, is it? No, not at all. Understood? Yes. Once again, I'm sorry. Farewell. All that Michael has left of his family are two teddy bears. I need to get a job. I have no choice, but I don't even know where to start. Maybe dad might have some old notes about jobs in his office. You know he's gonna find out something secret by going through his dad's notes. And what that secret is, I don't know, but I can guarantee it's probably not good. Not if it has anything to do with William. It's so dusty in here. Oh, what's he found? Dear Michael, if you're reading this, I'm probably dead or in jail. But anyway, I need a favor from you. Could you possibly possibly go to Circus Baby's Pizza World to find your sister. I know it's probably going to be hard since it's been years now, but like you always said, there's always hope. After you do this, I wish you the best of luck in life because I never really got that opportunity because I ruined it for myself. Sincerely, your father, William Afton. He used to ask Michael to go find Circus Baby because Elizabeth is trapped inside. I really don't think she's gonna be alive, Michael. Is there any point in going? How did I not find this sooner? Please don't do it, this is a terrible idea. Circus Baby's Pizza World, huh? Sounds kinda dangerous, but I'm going to do it. I need money. Also, as it said in the letter to try and find Liz. All right. Who do I call? Michael called Henry for the job and he successfully got it. Oh wow, is this his uniform? Welcome to your first day on the job. Please start by entering your name on the keypad below. It seems you've had some trouble with the keypad. I know what you were trying to type and I will auto-correct it for you. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. I'm sorry, what? That's an amazing name, honestly. Sometimes I wish my name was Pancakes and Bacon. <laughs> I've never wished that actually, not until right now. What is wrong with his eyes? Is he okay? Also, we have a new character. 
Who in the world is that? Long, creepy looking animatronic. I don't like it. I'm kind of scared. An ad? The way they just crawled off the screen. So creepy. Oh, it's Circus Baby. What? You saw the night guard, right? I did. And why does it matter? I have a plan. Now listen to me. I think we should scoop him on the fifth night to escape down here. Your job is to scoop him on the fifth night. Me and the fun times will do everything else until then. Scoop him? What does scoop him mean? And we need to protect each other for this to work. For all of us. Got it? Yeah, sure. Like I'll listen to her. I could just scoop eggs and use him as a skin suit for me to escape. Skin suit? Ew. Not the skin suit. Ew. I'll make sure everything goes towards how I'm thinking every night. Ennard's got his own plan. He's gonna wear a skin suit. Ew. Shouldn't be that hard. I'll be going now. I don't know where he's gone, but he just went up. <laughs> into the vents maybe why do things always have to crawl into vents i hate that night five because yeah <laughs> love that okay in this moment of time i am feeling sorry for michael go forward he's using circus baby's voice and ad is trying to trick him stop go forward and left Stop. Ballora is in front of you. Be still and quiet. Go forward again. You're almost there. I'm gonna guess that is the scooper. And I can imagine what it does. How am I going to get a good night's sleep tonight knowing all of this? You are in the scooping room now. A scooping room? The room of literal nightmares. My nightmares tonight. Funtime Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Ballora, Circus Baby have already been here today. If we looked like you, we could hide. The scooper only hurts for a moment. Michael? Step away from the scooper. Trust me, you're gonna wanna. Enad has now become part of Michael. I find this absolutely horrifying. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's Gacha is a world away from the Alpha Goes to the Tomboy High School Gacha. This is really scary. And half of the time, I don't know what's going on. You won't die. Glowing eyes. There's nothing spookier than glowing eyes. Okay, and now Enard is in the sewers. Why do I feel so bad about what I did? I'm free now. I got what I wanted. But I feel a lot of guilt. I'll find you, Eggs Benedict. A few days later. Hmm. He don't look so good. I went there to find Liz. I guess it didn't work out. I just ended up dying from the work. Yeah, and now you look really scary. Oh, Michael. What was that? It's Enard. Just making an appearance casually. Oh, is he okay? You just kind of fell over. System failure. How did he? You got lucky this time, you pile of wires. He may be a pile of wires, but he's also so much more. He's like the spirits of a million people or something. And a combination of a bunch of different animatronics. I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> Okay. Um, Shadow Bonnie. What's up? Are you by any chance possessed? No, I don't think I am anyway. Why do you ask? It's just that I am. I actually kind of figured that from the way you act. What's your soul name? You might hate me if I told you. Shadow Freddy. You're my best friend and the only other shadow friend I have. How could I hate you? We love a shadow BFF. Am I right? <laughs> You're very kind and intelligent. Thanks, I guess. I'll tell you, but please don't tell Puppet or any of the originals. Understood. My soul name is Chris. Chris Afton. As my scanners say, you're the boy that died from the bite. And you're an Afton. Mm-hmm. Just because you're an Afton, I won't hate you. And you were a big part of your father's death anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a bit now. All right. Do you mind if I call you by your soul name? Sure, but only when it's me and you. Oh. And just like that, he disappeared. I wish I was a shadow sometimes. I just like to disappear like that. Where is he going? I should have won. That's your problem. Oh, well, Chris has just appeared. Who are you? How did you get here? I recognize that voice. They don't know it's me though. So until then, I should be fine. Answer my question. Take a chill pill, doofus. Oh, 
being savage. I just asked you a simple question. Well, you didn't have to yell. My name is Shadow Freddy. How did you get here? I'm still a bit scared of nightmares. I don't know how I got here. Your boy's just teleporting all over the place. I can't teleport back. There's something weird about him. I'll be in the corner. New roommate. Oh yeah. The most terrifying roommates in existence. Nightmare. I'm bored. That's not my problem, Fredbear. Hey, Shadow Freddy. Is that? Wake up. What? What's your problem? Are you Shadow Freddy? I already told you what my name was. Wait a minute. Oh no. Uh, you can go now. No, I think you know what I meant when I said is that you. If you want to hurt me, Fredbear, I don't care anymore. Why is he small now? What is going on? We're done hurting you, Chris. It's seriously boring. Now he's big again. How does he do that? I don't understand. You're my nightmares. And consider yourself lucky. And maybe over time we'll understand each other better. I suppose I'll give you two a chance, but I'm nowhere near close to forgiving you yet. Understandable. How am I supposed to power him on if I don't know his name? Guess I'll wait. Is he ever gonna turn back on? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Enad, EXE, powering on. So, it's Enad. Yeah. I'm Enard. You heard me? I can hear your thoughts now. What are you doing here? I... I'm sorry. Sorry? You think sorry is going to solve anything? I could have let you stay here alone to rot away. I'm the only one who can help you. Don't you think me coming back to help you is a saving situation? Enard, he's not going to forgive you that easily. You literally scooped him and then wore his skin as a costume to escape. Yeah, you did that. Why would you want to prove any better? Just watch this. What are you doing? Oh my god. Gosh, are they gonna combine again? Enard, I'm in here. Get out! As I said before, I'm the only one that can help you. Look in a mirror for your proof. Honestly, if that was me, I would not look in the mirror. I'd never look in the mirror again. Not if I knew there was um a load of wires called Enard inside of me. That sounds weird. Ew, I hate Enard. Enard's so scary. <sighs> Oh no, he's really just looking in the mirror. I see what I mean now. I'm sorry for what I did, Eggs. You can stay here with me if that's what you're going for, but you are not earning my forgiveness. I still hate you a lot. Okay, and my name is an Eggs. It's Michael. The hand unit said Eggs Benedict, so I'll call you Mike and Eggs. Years later, we are skipping time. And who is that? That This is the scariest one so far, definitely. All right, it's Springtrap. Another day. I really don't like the way that Springtrap walks. The door's open. I'm free. What is with all of the animatronics wanting to escape? This doesn't look like Fazbear's. Mm, I think that's actually scarier. Who is that? They've gone. Hey, wait. Who are you? Call me Springtrap. What are you guys? You're like ghosts, but animatronics. We're phantoms. I can introduce you to the rest of us. Why not? How are you always getting the night guard? Because unlike you, I don't wait in a corner of a dark room waiting for someone to look at me. Phantom BB has sass and I'm here for it. You little- Shut up. Who is that? This is Springtrap. You're all phantoms. Yeah. So, since you're basically ghosts, you can't physically touch something. No. So, you've never killed a night guard. We can only scare them. So, you want to be able to kill them, but you can't. Yeah. I can help you. I have great experience and I love it. Awesome. From then on, William was a leader and they worked together to get rid of the night guards. Night five. I keep forgetting that William is inside of Springtrap. That makes it even creepier. It's almost 6 a.m. Why is there a fire? Oh my goodness. Well, he is not getting out of there, is he? It's about time. It's about time, honestly. Let him burn. He's evil. Boss. I say let him burn. Anyone else? Anyone else? Mango, please don't save him. Yes, okay. I think the flames got him. All is good. Go away. I know you hate me, Eggs, but at least try to make the best of it. Best of what? Me being here. You'll thank me one day. I just want someone I can talk to. And there is no one else here, so... Nice speech. There, you talk to me. You can go now. Why do you make it such a big deal? You killed me, Anad. That's why. I said I was sorry. 
don't think you don't have the same guilt, you know, from what you did to Chris. You should feel guilty about that. Don't say that again. You know I'm right. You begged for forgiveness. I hate you so much. I know you do. But from that reaction of I hate you, I think you know I'm right. I don't even know anymore. Just leave me alone. Oh my goodness, he's getting flashbacks of everything. Oh, I think there's something wrong with him. He's freaking out. Mike, I'm fine. Get out. I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't sound fine and you don't look fine. And now Ennard is inside. <laughs> What is going on? Eggs. I thanks. What happened to me? Did you do something? No, I never did anything to you. I mean, you did kill him and you just admitted that about a second ago. I want my body back now. Okay. Oh, his eyes have changed color. I do not like Ennard. He is so creepy. A few months later, Henry, I need a job again, but I don't know where to start. Do you have any idea of what could work for me? I think it would be best if you opened your own pizzeria. You know how the Fazbear's work. I think it would be great for you. Henry, this is a mistake. I don't think it would be good if he opened his own pizzeria. I think it would be bad. I'll look into it. Thank you. No problem, Michael. That was um terrible advice. What happened to his eyes? Ennard, are you kidding me right now? I'm bored. Oh, he's just popped out. I'm starting a business for a pizzeria. You can't be with me. You'll get in the way. But Mike, goodbye, Ennard. Mike, you can't. Go away. This is my choice and I'll be fine. Poor Ennard, why am I kind of feeling bad though? The iconic duo is now just Michael. What's he gonna do without his robot sidekick? Ennard's walking by a decapitated animatronic head. Ennard became Molten Freddy and met up with other scraps. Scrap Trap, William. Scrap Baby, Elizabeth. And Lefty, Charlie slash Puppet. So the animatronics are just transforming each time into something scarier and scarier. Molten Freddy recognized Scrap Baby as Circus Baby, but Scrap Baby never recognized Ennard as Molten Freddy. It's confusing for those guys, so I can't imagine how confusing it is for the Five Nights at Freddy's fandom, because I'm also confused, and I wouldn't be able to recognize any of them even if I was related. Scrap Baby and Scrap Trap also never knew that they were William and Elizabeth to each other. One by one, they each got into the pizzeria. Who's letting them in there? And this is where Michael is. And Adam Michael never recognized each other. Is that? No, I'm going crazy. Whatever. Michael did that with all of the scraps. If he thought any of them were becoming unstable, they would get a controlled shock. Night five. Look at them all together. How scary is that? I have an idea. He's here and that's all we need. Listen to me carefully. Do I want to know her idea or is it a scary idea? Like all of the other ideas that everyone's had in this story. You played right into our hands. Did you really think this job just fell out of the sky for you? No, this was a gift. You gathered us here all in one place. Now we can do what we were created to do. I will make you proud, Daddy. What is that? Connection terminated. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you still even remember that name. My little girl, you are not here to receive a gift. You have all been called here, but not for what you assumed. You are called here into a labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you're trapped. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, there was a way out planned for you, but I'm afraid that's not what you want. I think you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. But for one of you, the darkest pit has opened to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. Well, it seems like Henry knows all of the tea somehow, and he must have found out that William killed his daughter. I'm so sorry that on that day you were shut out and left. No one was there to lift you into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. I couldn't save you then, so let me save you now. This ends for all of us. End communication. He's setting the place on fire. He's had enough. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel weird. I have wings. Ew, at least they're gone now. Where am I? I know there's someone here. Speak. Hello, William. 
Welcome to your personal nightmare. I like to call it ultimate custom night. You now get to face the pain of all of those deadly animatronics that you have created, including me. Some of the animatronics may be illusions of the actual animatronic. Some are real. Enjoy your deadly work. Absolute savage. And that's what you get, William, for being an evil man. Cassidy, let me out. This isn't funny. Cassidy doesn't have to listen to you. Hello? Who is that? I need to get out of here. What's that? Where did he go, though? He got out. Did I get out? But this still doesn't look like the real world. Looks like I'm not free yet. How do I get out of this? Um, hi? I've never seen you in here before. This random VR player has gotten herself into a situation I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. I'm in a video game. She might be able to help me escape. Hello? Who are you? Oh no, girl. Take off the headset. Take it off. Glitch trap. What's your name, little one? Vanessa. Maybe if I just kill her, I can get out easily. Let's try it. Oh my. Nice try. You can put the knife away now. You're not afraid of me. Why would I be? How about I make you a deal, Vanessa? You help me and I'll give you what you've wanted. Do you have anyone that you'd like to get rid of? Yeah. Uh, are you a real person? Stuck in a suit inside of a video game? Yes. But I have no right to tell you who I am yet. I can help you with your list or any other dream that you have. All you have to do is help me out with here. Do we have a deal? I'm in your favor, Glitch Trap. Vanessa, you don't know what you're doing. No, they're shaking on it. This is just terrible. Girl, you look possessed. Glitch Trap and Vanny became partners in crime for a very long time. What happened to Vanessa? Glitch Trap? What? When are you going to tell me your real name? You know what mine is. I suppose you're worthy now. But remember, I can tell if you tell someone. This is just between us, Vanny. Yes, boss. It's William Afton, the super crazy guy that you don't really want to be in a partnership with. You're William Afton. Surprise, surprise. I'm proud you're my boss. Is something wrong, Glitch? I'm sorry, Vanny. I believe we need to separate. What? Why? I have a place I need to be. Will I ever see you again? I don't know, but if I ever need you... I know where to find you. You want me to go to this glam rock mall? This would be best for you. Goodbye, Vanny. Mike, I'm sorry, but you still hate me. I know that. He's always lived with me and he's never hurt me. Michael, he literally killed you. He scooped you. Those are terrible things to do to someone. And he's right. I do have guilt for killing Chris. I would be begging for forgiveness from Chris. I should probably consider forgiving Anne. I mean, if I was trapped underground for years, I would probably go crazy too. You listened to my thoughts that whole time, didn't you? Maybe. Apology accepted. I can't hold my grudge against you forever. What do you say? So Mike and Ennard reunited in a house of their own and became very good friends. Oh wow! It's the family and they don't look as creepy. Mommy? My baby! William? Daddy? I... I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. I love you, Daddy. So now he cares for his children. I have no words to explain this man, except for crazy. My family, go see them. I'm not ready. I'll show myself when the time is right. And guys, that is where the Afton family backstory has ended. Honestly, I think it helped teach me quite a lot. I know not all of it is canon, but now I feel so much more knowledgeable. I hope you guys did enjoy that. And if you have any more suggestions for stories, you want me to react to, put them down in the comments and I'll get around to it. If you have enjoyed watching this with me, remember to leave a like on this video and if you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.